Before the age of two, Jose Maria Olathabo, the son of a greenskeeper, began swinging a cut-down club fashioned for him by his father. In 1973, at the age of seven, he won the first tournament he ever entered, Spain's National Under-9 Championship. It would be the first of many victories in an unparalleled amateur career. In his rookie season on the European Tour, Ola Thabo won the 1986 Swiss Open by three shots, the first of his 29 career victories worldwide. The following year, he partnered with his idol and fellow Spaniard Seve Ballesteros in the first of his seven career Ryder Cup appearances. The pair earned three points for the European side, which captured the cup on U.S. soil for the first time. The pairing of Ola Thabo and Ballesteros would go on to become the most successful duo in Ryder Cup history, as the Spanish Armada compiled an astonishing 11-2-2 record in the competition. He's been a great Ryder Cup player, obviously with Seve. He's well respected under the players, um, great personality, um, a really good fighter in the game. 18 years ago, Ola Thabo captured his first major championship at the Masters, holding off Tom Lehman to win by two. Despite debilitating illness and injury that robbed him of nearly two years in his competitive prime, Ola Thabo returned to the pinnacle of golf in 1999 outdueling Greg Norman to claim his second green jacket. He's the best of competitors. Very, very intense. Unbelievable drive and fight in him uh, on the golf course. And, and a gentleman off the golf course, which is very nice. Ola Thabo's impact on the game of golf was perhaps best summed up by George O'Grady, chief executive of the European Tour, who said of the Spaniard, Two words spring immediately to mind when reflecting on the wonderful career of Jose Maria Olathabo. Courage and determination. Well, absolutely no better words describe our first inductee tonight, the second Spaniard to earn his spot in the World Golf Hall of Fame. 10 years ago, his fellow countryman and close friend, Seve Ballesteros, was inducted into the hall. Determination and courage, something that both of these men share. Fans worldwide have been concerned about Seve's health and well-being as he has battled cancer since last fall. And although he dearly wanted to be with us tonight, his doctors requested that Seve be with us via video, shot just recently in his home in Pedrina, Spain. Ladies and gentlemen, 45-time European Tour winner and five-time major champion, World Golf Hall of Fame member, Sevi Ballesteros. I'm very happy. Obviously, Jose Maria Olazabal is a, a good friend of mine. I think he deserves to be inducted into the World Hall of Fame because he's been a terrific uh, professional, tremendous dedication, and uh, because uh, his uh, personal record uh, speaks for himself. Olazabal is very well recognized in Spain as one of the top sportsmen. For Spain, that means a great recognition in the world of golf, and uh, it's, it's fantastic. It's a huge legacy. Obviously, he did a tremendous job to develop uh, the game uh, of golf uh, in Spain, tremendous support for the European Tour, tremendous job in the Ryder Cup. He has done a lot all over the world. In the Ryder Cup, uh, we play many times together and uh, at Mirfield Village, uh, Nicholas uh, coursed uh, on the 18th hole. Uh, I have uh, two putt from uh, four feet and all uh, we need to do is two putts. And uh, so we start reading the putt and uh, he say right leap, I say right leap, yeah, that looks good. And he say several times, you know, but be careful, you know, it's very, it's very fast. So I take uh, over and I hit the putt and uh, I hit a little extra and the ball uh, started to speeding up and uh, went by the hole uh, about maybe 10 feet. And, uh, and I say, oh my God, this is unbelievable. How fast is that? And he say, how many times I told you that that was very fast? He say, don't worry, relax, relax. I made this one for you. So he faced the path and he hold it and uh, that was the end of the story. <laughs> He's a tremendous competitor. It was fantastic uh, to, to have someone behind you that, uh, that you have the confidence that your partner is never is going to leave you alone. 
Hi, Jose Maria. Congratulations for uh, all what you have done in, in golf. Uh, now that uh, you are inducted into the World Hall of Fame, uh, uh, you know, I, I think uh, we, we must uh, understand everybody that uh, you will become one of the best uh, uh, in the history of the game of golf. Uh, congratulations, well done, and uh, enjoy this uh, special moment. And uh, from uh, me, receive a big hand and uh, enjoy this special moment with your family and your friends. Well, thank you very much. Um, well, obviously, it's a very special day for me. Um, first of all, I want to thank all the former uh, uh, Hall of Famers uh, for being here today. Thanks, everyone, uh, ladies and gentlemen, for being here today in such a special day for me. What a day. Uh, it has arrived, and it's, uh, it's been a very special one. I spent uh, a couple of hours uh, at the Hall of Fame uh, looking at all the artifacts, all the history of the game of golf, and getting to know better the history of all the great champions that have been inducted into the Hall of Fame, and also getting to know the history of players, of people, that uh, have done so much for the game of golf, like uh, Bob Hope. At uh, this time, I would like to thank all the people of the international voting panel for allowing me to be part of such a special place. It's truly, again, a great honor for me to be part of it, and I'm really thrilled about it. Thanks. I would like to tell you a little story about a boy. A boy that uh, the day before he was born, his mom put the first nine flags on the front nine of an 18-hole golf course. When he was two, somebody gave him a putter and a ball and told him to put that ball in one of the holes. He realized that that ball could go in the hole from three feet, from 10 feet, and every now and then even from 30 feet. A few years passed away, and he marveled at all the things that the white ball could do up in the air. It could fly high, it could fly low, from right to left, from left to right, and he thought, well, this is a lot of fun. And he decided to keep on playing the game of golf. One day, when he was 16, he approached his parents and said, Mom, Dad, I want to become a golf professional. You should have seen the look on their faces. They were petrified. How on earth a farmer's son can come up with such a decision. They looked at each other, they looked at the son, and said, son, if that is what you want, so be it. But under one condition, you have to finish school. So the deal was sealed. He kept on playing golf, he finished school, and he turned professional. He went through a qualifying school, and on his first year, he won two tournaments. And from then on, he went through the up and downs of golf, through the highs and lows of life. 
but he lived a life full of emotions and he even managed to have quite a successful career. That boy is a grown man and he's talking to you. Thanks a lot. All I can say is that it has been a wonderful journey, a journey that I would do all over again without any hesitation. Through golf, I have met great champions, champions of all different generations, Jim Saracen, Sam Snead, Byron Nelson, Arnold Palmer, Jack Nicklaus, Tom Watson, I mean, the list is long. I mean, I can go on if you want to. Uh, Greg Norman, Nicky Price, all the, all the European stars and all the modern stars. And I have also met wonderful people, people that love the game and have done so many things for the game of golf. And to them all, thank you very much for making my life so much more special. Golf has been a great teacher in life for me. It has taught me to be disciplined, that there is no shortcuts in life. You have to work really hard to achieve your goals, that there are rules to be fulfilled, to be patient, to listen to the more experienced people, to be humble, and most important of all, to respect others, regardless of their background, or where they come from. But all of that would have not been possible without the help of many people. And I cannot thank them all today. The list is very long. But please allow me to thank that, the people that are really closest to my heart. All my coaches uh, through my life, the team of coaches that, uh, of my home golf club that taught me the basics of golf, later, John Jacobs, who kept things truly simple, very effective, and later in my career, a person that you all know. His name is Butch Harmon. <laughs> Butch, I know, I know you're here somewhere. I don't see you, but I know you're here. Um, thanks for all your help. Thanks for being the way you are. And most important of all, thanks for being here today in such a special day for me. The next couple is one that I met when I was 14 years old. And they have been with me ever since. They've traveled all around the world with me and they have supported me through all these years. And I love them to death. They are Sergio Gomez and his wife, Maite. Gracias de todo corazón. The next couple is even a little bit more special. They brought me to this world. They are truly humble, and they have shown me how to enjoy the small things in life. They've made a lot of sacrifices so their children could have a better start in life. <sighs> they don't speak a word of English. And please allow me to thank them in my native language. Aita, ama, mi esker egin duzu ten guztia gatikan, zora garriak zarete, there is one more person that I want to thank, and that is my dear friend, Sevi. Yeah, he deserves it. 
He gave me a call when I was 15 years old. Not many people know this, and uh, he gave me a call and asked me to play in a match, in a charity match against him at his home club in Pedreña. And I said yes, without knowing the implications of that answer in my future career. <laughs> something happened really special, something really special happened that day. Um, I don't know what it was, but it was truly special. Because a few years later, I played in my first Ryder Cup at Muirfield Village. And I was a 21-year-old boy. And the captain, I guess, didn't know what to do with me. And Seve approached the captain, Tony Jacklin, and said, Tony, I will play with Oli. The rest is history. I was never a genius like you, Seve, but I did the best I could. And as my mentor, all I can hope for is that you're proud of me. 28 years ago, you opened a circle, and somehow that circle closes today. I want to thank you for all the wonderful memories you have given me and for all you have done for the game of golf. To finish, I would like to say that through all these years, I have come to realize that it doesn't matter how good of a golfer you are, of how great your achievements are, the game of golf is always the winner. And all we can do is to honor this wonderful game. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. And don't forget that life can truly be wonderful. Thank you very much.